The day I flew back to L.A., May 25th, George Floyd was brutally murdered by white policemen in Minneapolis. It was caught on camera, and the whole country was horrified. Over the next few days, protests seemed to organize themselves like wildfire all over the country. They started out passionately, but peacefully. I decided to check and visit with my friend Zonar's was in order. After all, he lived right down the street. Well, look who's back. Hey there, I've heard so much about you. Gigi, this is my new friend Brad. From the balcony, remember I told you about him? Hello, nice to meet you. I've been hearing about you too, Brad, from the balcony. <laughs> Just got back from visiting your daughter? Yeah, a whole month. I mean, I can't believe how fast it went by. Well, Jay-Z here has been helping the time go by for me. Really nice to be out here in a yard and just relax and jam a little. Come, sit. What can I get you, darling? A vodka martini? Maybe some of those blue cheese olives you like? Oh, I'm good with water for now. I would love to hear you guys play. Oh, well, we can certainly pull that together, eh? Yeah, we can do that. You're listening to The Last Saturday Night, based on true stories during our COVID lockdowns. Starring Sherilyn Fenn, Jennifer Lee Cox, Eric Roberts, and Ed Asner. With Chris Browning, Tim Russ, Vincent M. Ward, Allison Dunbar, Darren Jacobs, Belle Adams, and Hannah Aleem. Created by Jennifer Nash. That night, I was glued to the news. I lived in one of the safest neighborhoods in L.A., But that was the night that peaceful protests, they took a turn. That night, chaos reigned in Santa Monica. Peaceful protests turned into looting and rioting in one of the most expensive retail areas in the city. I I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Ryan, are you watching the news? Yeah, I sure as shit am. This is crazy. What's going on in your neighborhood? Are you serious right now? Are you kidding? I'm right downtown. This shit is blowing up like a block from me. (sighs) The news isn't covering it. They're all on Santa Monica. Yeah, well, that's ridiculous. This is just nuts. I mean, at least they're making a point to hit the rich areas. Oh yeah, Beverly Hills is getting hit too. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, well, the protests down here in front of City Hall have been massive. They're getting bigger every day. They're all getting each other sick. Don't people seem to be wearing masks? Yeah, well, who cares? They're all squished in with each other like sardines. Oh, jeez. Oh, they're announcing a curfew for tomorrow. Yeah, well, I wish there was one for tonight. I'm afraid to even go outside. I don't have any groceries, by the way. And there's nowhere to walk around here. And I'm sure as shit not taking the bus. Guess I'm living on cigarettes and whiskey tonight. Sweetie, I will bring you some groceries down to you. I'll bring them tomorrow, okay? Seriously? Oh, thank you. God, you'd you'd be a lifesaver. I mean, I can't even see, by the way. Did I mention that? Yeah, my eye surgery got canceled, of course, and I can't see shit. feel like I'm trapped in this shitty little apartment, you know, because I am. Wow, the promenade is destroyed. (sighs) I mean... (sighs) At least people are destroying their own neighborhoods, not like the Rodney King riots. Oh, wow, yeah. Wait, wait, were, you, were you living here then? Yep, right off Sunset by the DGA. Our 7-Eleven was burned to the ground a block away. I was pregnant and Max was like five. So we drove to Malibu to stay with a friend for a couple of days. Oh, I'll never forget it. As soon as we passed into Beverly Hills, everything was peaceful and quiet. Like there was a force field around them. Yeah, well, not this time. No, sir. Oh, 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 here it goes. Wait, they just switched to downtown. I guess these guys were waiting for the dark, right? I don't understand why people bust into Targets and CVSs. Yeah, me neither. What, what, what is that? Shit, I am so stressed out right now. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and drink myself to sleep. Shit, I wish I had some weed. 
I will see you tomorrow. Text me some stuff that you want, sweetie. Oh, I love your guts. Seriously, you're an angel. I'll see you tomorrow. Try to get some sleep. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get that much sleep. <laughs> Good night. After seeing refrigerated trucks lined up outside of New York hospitals with so many dead bodies, they had to dig impromptu graves. I tried to check in with my New York friends. They were impossible to get a hold of. It's worrisome. Portland protests were massive, but peaceful. And Paloma was MIA. Mark fled to his family's lake cabin in Minnesota, and Lisa and I encouraged him to stay there as long as he could. There was nothing on the news about West Virginia, so I assumed things were all okay there. But I just I miss my friends. So we scheduled a Zoom happy hour. Hey, you. How are you doing? Things are looking crazy there in L.A. Hey, we missed you. I miss you too, guys. Oh my, things are nuts here. We, we got a curfew in a couple of hours. A, a curfew. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Our building there in Beverly Hills, it got trashed. You know, it's the one right by your friend's place. Jeez. Those guys moved out of town in the nick of time. They have a big place and a yard and a pool now in Temecula. Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. What's going on with you guys? How are things there? Well, it's been a little rough. A little rough? They fired a bunch of people there at the hospital where Mike works. He's been doing like three jobs. Are you kidding? They fired people now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Every hospital in West Virginia has, has been letting people go. Yeah, they're not making any money from elective surgeries or really any normal stuff now. It's really bad. Mike has to suit up like an astronaut every day. He comes home with these marks and bruises on his face. Oh, it's not that bad. Well, it's not great. And my company laid off a bunch of people. I mean, they... They did, but at least we're working, and that's good. Most of my family and friends are not working. That's what you get for being in the entertainment and restaurant business. Mike, how is that sweet older couple you told me about? I love that story. Uh, you know, that's that's not good. Oh, no. Yeah, we, we stopped letting people um, or visitors in. You remember I kind of mentioned that to you? And I got to thinking about them. So I went uh, to check on her, Lucinda. This just breaks my heart. Yeah, she wasn't doing good and, and her husband couldn't visit anymore. So I thought, well, I'll try to, to help her FaceTime him. But he didn't have a smartphone. So I just tried to make a little video with her and, oh boy. She, she died the next day. Oh, darn it. That is so sad. Yeah, it was, it was rough. They're, they were just so sweet, and you know, I, I found out where Gerald lives, and I went by there. You know, I just wanted to show him that little video. He just broke down. You did that? You are so good. Dude, that breaks my heart. Hey, guys, is that Gigi? It sure is. <laughs> Go on in, boy. Say hi. Hey, Gigi, how's it going? Well, it is definitely going better seeing your beautiful face. How you doing? I've definitely done better, too. You know, he's been helping out so much with the family. He's, he's bringing groceries to the grandparents. I mean, all of that stuff. <sighs> wow, that is so good, Brett. <laughs> oh, it's no big deal. We're just lucky to have a family that's so close. For sure, you are. Looks like L.A. is pretty nuts. Is your area doing okay? It has been, but not tonight. My... My friend sent me footage of white, unmarked vans dropping off pallets of bricks on Main Street, like a block from my place. What's that about? Well, the protests and looting are, are, are moving to my hood tonight, so businesses down Ventura are boarding up, and, and everybody's boarding up their windows all the way down to Encino. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you stay safe out there tonight. Yeah, stay safe, Gigi. Yeah, yeah, we can't afford to lose you. Hey, um, how are Brian and Lisa doing? How's your dad? Lisa is going crazy from loneliness. My, my, my dad is too. He keeps sending me packages, like boredom, online shopping. And now he thinks he wants to be a producer. He wants to make political commercials for YouTube. Ryan is stuck in his teeny apartment downtown a couple of blocks away from all the nasty and he's freaking out because they brought in the National Guard today. Yikes, there's nothing like that happening here. Well, I mean, we're in the country here. And, um, how's Mark doing? 
Well, he hightailed it to Minnesota. His family has a lake house. Well, let's get everybody together for a Zoom soon. Okay, that sounds really good. I guess I'll sign off now and watch my neighborhood get destroyed on TV. Oh no. <laughs> It'll be okay. Oh, by the way, I'm writing a new script about all of this. Well, what? That's awesome. That's awesome, Gigi. Yeah, we can't wait to read it. You be safe tonight. You too. Bye, guys. We go live now to Encino, where Rob Daniels is on the scene. Thank you, Kelly. As you can see behind me, this fire still rages out of control at the corner of Ventura Boulevard and Louise. Police are on the scene waiting, as we all are, for the fire department. My dry cleaners is on fire. Ripped through this laundry oh, like crap. I have my favorite boots in there. My boots are burning. Oh, my God. I didn't blame people for being angry. I was angry too. My friends and I marched with our masks on, but I felt helpless. Helpless, angry outrage and a broken heart. Electric acid.